Hello guys, we need to find the net torque applied on the bar shown below about the axis indicated by the black dot. So we see we have a black dot and we have two different forces applied at the edge of the, of the bar. First, we have to define the torque. Torque is the position vector cross product with the force vector. And we can see that it's also the magnitude of the position vector times the magnitude of the force vector times the sine of theta, that's the angle between them. I'm going to find the torque for the 8 newton force. So you can see I defined the negative 0.25 meters. I convert to meters because we work with newtons and we need to work with the meters. And you can see the 8 newtons going up so those forces are perpendicular. To make this like more evident, I'm going to place it on the Cartesian plane. And you see that the angle between them is 90 degrees. If we apply the definition, we have that 0.25 meters times 8 newtons multiplied by the sine of 90, which is equal to 1. This is equal to 2 newton meters clockwise. What I mean is that this force of 8 newtons tends to rotate the bar in a clockwise direction. But if we see the cross product by definition, if it's the position vector is in the negative x and the force vector is in the positive y, we have a negative c direction into the board. So actually the torque is 2 newton meters into the board. But to make it simple, we can say that this is in the clockwise direction. Now we are going to find torque 2. The position vector is defined from the black dot to the place where the force is applied. So you can see that there is a blue arrow from that point to the edge, and that's 0.75 meters. And the force is perpendicular, 12 newtons, in the y direction. Applying the definition, torque 2 is equal to 0.75 meters times 12 newtons times sine of 90 degrees and this is equal to 9 newton meters. This is going to be in the counterclockwise direction. This means that that force tends the object to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. Actually, torque, if, if, the, if the position vector is in the x direction and the force is in the y direction, the torque is in the positive c direction. That means torque is going out of the page. But for convenience, we can say that it's counterclockwise. We want to find the torque net. Then we have to do the superposition of both torques. Torque 1 is equal to 2 newton meters in the clockwise direction, plus torque 2, that's equal to 9 newton meters in the counterclockwise direction. So you see that they are opposite, and we subtract them. So torque net is equal to 7 newton meters in the counterclockwise direction. Our answer is 7 newton meters in the positive z direction, or you can also say counterclockwise direction. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time, guys.